Strobe tuning is the most accurate method of tuning, period. Here's why. Let's start with an example of a strobe effect. Here's a woman in a dark room running on a treadmill. Now we'll turn the lights on briefly every time her right foot is in front. Now, although she's constantly in motion, this illusion makes it look like she's frozen in that position. This is a strobe disc. You may have seen this in your band room or on the workbench of a professional luthier or touring guitar technician. Peterson has been spinning these discs on a motor in front of a flashing light for the last half century to produce the most accurate and trusted tuners in the industry. It's beautifully simple. Each ring has a number of blocks that are half the width and twice as many as the previous ring as you move outward. The motor spins the disc at a different rate for each chromatic note. Let's say 13 and 3 quarter revolutions per second for an A. So at that rate, and in this row with 64 solid blocks, a solid block passes center 440 times each second. Now at that speed, you just see a gray blur. But if you could only see a snapshot of the disc 440 times each second, it wouldn't look like it was moving at all. Like the running woman, it would appear stopped. Musical pitch is scientifically described in frequency, or hertz. Hertz literally means times per second. And sound is produced when something vibrates. A440 sounds like this because something that is vibrating is causing a wave of high and low pressure points recurring 440 times a second traveling towards your ears at the speed of sound. So a Peterson strobe tuner turns the lights on behind the disc at the same frequency of your instrument and it's up to you to make the image stand still by matching your instrument's frequency to the set speed of the disc. Any mismatch results in the image appearing to roll in one direction or the other. If you dig into your music theory book, you'll remember that the musical octaves are double in frequency, so each ring further outward on the strobe disc is one octave higher. The strobe tuning process is analog by nature, which gives you a real-time response to your adjustment. Needle and LED tuners have to listen to the input, determine the margin of error, and then display it back to you the best they can, which all takes time and leaves you adjusting your tuning based on information that could have taken place moments ago. This is why needle and LED tuners tend to jump around while the user continues to hunt. Also, accuracy as fine as one-tenth of one cent cannot be intuitively displayed with just a handful of LEDs. So no matter the accuracy specification, most tuners are limited in their ability to show you that level of accuracy. Internally, a strobe tuner doesn't worry about how far out of tune you are. The display provides that information naturally, without any need for computation, allowing incredible precision of one-tenth of a cent to be seen immediately and without question. That same analog process is what drives Peterson LCD display tuners. A few select rings of the strobe disc are animated across the screen, but the display is refreshed at the same rate as the lights of a mechanical strobe tuner would flash. While the LCD strobes provide tons of extra features and configurability, like sweetened tunings, it's the legendary analog strobe technology that makes them every bit as accurate as the legacy Peterson mechanical strobe tuner models. It's that simple. Make the strobe image stop, and there's nowhere else to go. You can't be any more in tune than that. It's accurate, repeatable, and what professionals have been doing for decades. For more on why extreme accuracy matters to your sound, click here. For information about sweetened tunings, click here. To learn about what makes a tuner accurate, click here.